So this morning I am trying to tackle some of the images that I took with the Canon A1 on my trip out to Eftelquat. I'm looking at my contact sheet and I see I need to work on my exposures with the Canon A1. I got a lot to learn. I have underexposure, I have overexposure, and I have very few that seem to be just on target. Now, I don't use the Canon A1 ever, basically. Um, <laughs> it's a camera I've had for a while, but I, I just haven't taken it out and tried to learn how, how to use it in a way that, that um, makes sense to me, I guess. Uh, I know that's probably a bad way to put it. Uh, the camera works perfectly fine. It's the user that is making all of the mistakes. After a study of my contact sheet and also doing a quick review of the negatives on my light box, I can already see that I have made mistakes in my use of the camera. So some of the pictures I think I might like, I'm not sure of anymore. I found that only a few had an exposure that would be something that I could use and manipulate well in the darkroom to try to get a print. And one of them I thought that might be really nice is the one right here, which I put together some test prints of. But it became clear after too many tests that I wasn't really going to find the place I wanted to be with that image. I didn't know if I wanted to have any of the detail of the sea behind and try to create a more ambiguous abstract image or whether I wanted to chase some of the detail in the sea while trying to still balance the front part of the image. What ended up happening is I was going from a one and a half grade contrast filter where I always began and then I dropped to a 0.5, a half grade. And then I went up to two and a half and then three and I'm trying to go around because I just don't know what I'm trying to get. And I realized it was time to stop. I wasn't going to get what I would like and the negative and the scene itself was not going, excuse me, was not going to produce something that was really interesting and balanced and the sea in the background simply became distraction material inside the image and it wasn't going to add anything. So I just, I just stopped. I figured this is not going to go anywhere. I'm pushing it. I'm trying to make something out of nothing. Let's do something else. Stopping trying to chase that other image was a good choice. It was going to lead to something that I probably wouldn't be that happy with. So why keep on going at it? I did have other choices though, and that was the cliff view going back across the Eftelquat cliff area. And my first attempt on my test, one grade contrast filter because of the environment being so gray, and I really like where this is going. It's a bit too heavy for me in the front. I've lost some detail and the grain um, and the, the fog causing a bit too much uh, grain and distortion here. So I went to this one and I think I got where I wanted to be. Really nice, better balance in the front with good detail and the back is fading into shadow and mist quite well. I don't care about too much detail here. I like how the foreground, the midground, and the background 
are separated so clearly. So this image is really exciting. This is where I decided to go with the image for today. Looking at what I was able to get from the cliff, really enjoy the image. I did not have a lot of faith when I was taking those pictures up that coast in that weather that there would be anything that would be worthwhile as an image. I just thought, ah, it's just it's too foggy, it's just too gray. Um, but the balance of the foreground, the middle, and the background, and how it fades through, I think is a really pleasing image. Um, again, there is a big angry ocean, but that really isn't uh, the, the, the focus. And then I realized that trying to create detail in here actually isn't going to help the image. That there's a certain, um, a certain unknown and maybe sometimes the the discomfort that might come with that is is very good in balancing the narrative of the image and giving it more of a voice i'm really happy with how things turned out today again the coastal view looking back east from where i was up the coast of the Ethelquat area Nice and dramatic, but yet somehow soft. But there is a tension or a, a bit of a, of a chaos in the image, sort of waiting. It is quite lovely. So that is the end of it. All finished. I've got two in case you would like one of them, please contact me. I'd be happy to get that in your hands. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Up next, not quite sure, but it should be a nice adventure as always. Stay tuned and catch you next time.